hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel divine goddess enlightenment i'm ashley and i am here to give you guys your monday motivational message as you come in don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to hit the bell notification the bell so you can get notified for future uploads so we're going to jump right into this these messages benevolent ancestors i ask that you give me clear channel messages for the collective i also ask that you protect me as i open myself up to different energies thank you ashe hi y'all today is valentine's day happy valentine's day to all of you guys i hope you guys are feeling great i hope you guys uh enjoy your day you know i hope you guys just enjoy your day and to all my fellow single people i just want all my single guys and goddesses to know don't let this day get you down because you may be single or you may be like me you may be a loner you know you may stay to yourself Valentine's Day is the perfect day for self-love. If you don't have a spouse, take yourself out to eat. Go get you a mani pad. Go shopping. For me, doing stuff like that, that is, every day is Valentine's Day for me because I genuinely uh, self, I take care of myself every day. Self-love is every day. It's a lifestyle for me. So do not feel bad. Pour into yourself. Because the, the most important relationship you will ever have is the one with yourself, okay? I don't know who needed to hear that, but somebody needed to hear that, okay? Don't worry about what you don't have. Be grateful for what you do have. Be grateful that you have this relationship with yourself, that you're able to cultivate it, that you're able to learn who you are, you're able to grow, you're able to self-develop and learn who you are, what you like, you know? I just, I just want you guys, I don't want anyone out there feeling down about this day, okay? All right, but we gonna jump into these messages. Uh, this is my divine goddess. Divine goddess that is all is motivation, growth, self love. Wow, self love. So yeah, we gonna get some advice and some messages from spirit. Okay, spirit. Uh, what's the messages for my collective? What messages do you have for my collective for motivation on Monday? What advice do you have for my collective for Motivational Monday? Ooh, thank you, spirits. Okay, we have a few messages that popped out. Okay. So we have work on your heart chakra. Wow. That's crazy that this popped out and we're actually speaking. I actually, this is Valentine's Day. Okay, so uh, Spirit is saying a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys need to work on your crown, your heart chakra. Some of you guys may need to work on your crown chakra too because I, I just said it. So, you know, your heart chakra, our heart chakra, that deals with, uh, unconditional love, how we love ourselves and others. And it's actually our heart chakra is actually the portal to manifest and attract what we want because love is the highest frequency of the universe. Okay. Um, so when we have that self love, that self care, when you love yourself, you're able to manifest things on that same frequency. So a lot of you guys, Spirit has said, uh, you can need to work on your heart chakra more. Maybe it's some you trying to manifest your soulmate. Maybe you're trying to manifest a love connection. In order to do that, you must be vibrating on a frequency of love. Your heart chakra must be open to receive this love. Okay. So to work on your heart chakra. Chakra, perfect example. 
this rose quartz crystal you could get you some uh some crystals rose quartz crystals um it it, it brings the energy of of self-love of healing compassion unconditional love it raises your vibration it gets you in, in this self-love feel when you love yourself that's what you're gonna attract and then when you love yourself you're teaching others how to love you okay so yeah the heart chakra is green so uh maybe you guys need to and to balance your heart chakra you guys can eat uh eat uh green fruits and vegetables uh green apples spinach uh lettuce broccoli you know green grapes just eat uh eat green foods to help balance your heart chakra and to help open it wear the color green surround yourself around beautiful plants get some nature and that's crazy look this is uh this was at the bottom get some vitamin d uh sun soak so a lot of you guys spirit has said in order for you to open this heart chakra a lot of you guys need to get into nature Plant your feet in the ground. Be around greenery. Be around nature, Mother Earth. That's definitely going to raise your vibration, okay? Then we got, you are a master manifester. Beautiful. Like I said, some of you guys could be manifesting a soulmate or a love connection. That's why if, if, that, if you are manifesting a love connection, so a love connection or soulmate, your twin flame or whatever, you must open your heart chakra. That's for somebody, okay? Because uh, I'm talking, you are a master manifester. We all have the ability to manifest what we desire. Our chakras have to be aligned. They have to be balanced in order for us to call in what we desire. Spirit, uh, it, for some of you guys here, some of you guys could be doing rituals to call in money, uh, uh, your soulmate, call in uh, to uh, be successful, to call in abundance, health, wealth, ha happiness. Spirit is just reminding you, you are a master manifester. We all have the ability to be master manifestors because we are co-creators with the universe. And that's period. So this is just a reminder that you could be seeing 111. You could be seeing 1111. This is just a, a reminder. You are a master manifester. You are co-creating. So spirit wants you to put out good energy. Uh, you, some of you guys may have been doubting. Some of you guys may have been manifesting something and it hasn't come yet. And you have been doubting that. Spirit just want to remind you, you are a manifester. And maybe your manifestations are slowed down or not coming how you would like them to come because you need to open your heart chakra more. Okay, that's for someone. And then we have set goals. Okay, so... A lot of you guys could be very goal oriented. A lot of you guys could be working on accomplishing goals, organizing your priorities, uh, putting putting your priorities first. Some of you guys could have started businesses. Some of you guys could be going into business with others. Some of you guys, I, I feel you have ve very high hopes and aspirations. I'm talking to someone who's in the process of manifesting their, you're manifesting your reality. You're manifesting what you desire. You're goal oriented. You set goals. And for some of you here, Spirit is saying some of you need to get into this habit. Get you a notebook and a, and a, uh, and a pen and write down your goals. Write down what it is you want to, uh, what you want to manifest. When we write down our goals, our priorities, when we write things down, it's 95% more chance that it's going to, uh, you're going to accomplish it, that you're, it's going to develop. That, that's a known fact. So, uh, I'm talking to someone, someone here, like I said, very goal oriented, very organized. And for some of you here, spirit wants you to get into this habit of setting goals and writing them out. And being serious about pursuing what it is you desire, period. Okay? One of a kind. You guys, I could be talking to a star seed. I could be talking to someone chosen. Spirit just wants you to know that you are one of a kind. It's no one like you. I feel like I'm talking to someone with a beautiful spirit. Someone 
with this big aura, with this big energy. You could be someone that attracts people to you because of your vibe, because of your aura. I feel like I'm talking to someone who has this different kind of vibe that attracts you. You attract kids. You attract people like kids just love you naturally. And kids could just come up to you and not even know you. They feel that energy. I feel like you guys have this beautiful aura. You guys are one of a kind. You guys I could be talking to someone chosen. You guys are star seeds. You guys are unique. I, I feel like someone here needs to be reminded of that because it could be some of you guys here that has been, uh, you probably been around energy or you probably just have been feeling, you know, just feeling in the slumps. You probably, you might be feeling a little off. You might be feeling uh, just a little unmotivated. That's why I do these Motivational Mondays. This is just confirming. This is just reminding you of who the fuck you are. You are one of a kind. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You have the ability to change your life to however you want to change it. So however you see fit, okay? And like I said, with the Get Some Sun, Vitamin D, a Spirit of Sun, a lot of you guys... Needs to get some nature. A lot of you, a lot of you guys need to uh, soak up the sun. Get that vitamin D. It could be a message your spirit team is trying to get to you. Uh, yeah. Remember when I made a mistake and said crown chakra? Uh, some of you guys do need to work on your crown chakra. And uh, your, you can open your crown chakra by being in the sun to receive those downloads from spirit. Okay. <sighs> wow I like it say go on vacation you deserve it so with this energy I feel like I said a lot of you guys a lot of I, a lot of you guys are very goal oriented. I'm talking to someone who's a hard worker, someone who has priorities, someone who gets the job done, who has very high aspirations. You could be a lot of you guys could be you could possibly be overworking yourself. You could be overthinking things. Spirit is uh someone is is saying someone needs to go on vacation even if it's not going out of town. Maybe you just need to spend one day and just and just relax. Just do what it is you want to do. Like today, take your it's Valentine's Day. Take yourself out to eat. Uh turn the laptop off for today and just fo and just love on yourself. Cater to yourself. Give your give that give love to yourself. Appreciate, value, and celebrate yourself. Okay, period. And then we have keep keep going up the ladder. They mad, make them matter. R.I.P. the young dog. That's my song, y'all. But yeah, okay. So yeah, you guys can have people in y'all energy. Like I said, I just said. I'm talk you guys are goal oriented. You guys are organized. You guys are getting your shit together. You guys are focusing on level leveling up. So uh, you could have people in your energy that's mad at that. You guys could have did or could be undergoing some type of transformation where you're changing the way you see things, where you're changing, you're uh, raising your energy, you're raising your vibration, and you could have people around you that that's mad at this change at these changes you're making. When we change for the the better, people that still stuck in low vibrational energy will feel some type of way. But spirit is saying, don't don't. Don't worry about them people. Uh, fuck them. Keep going up the ladder. If they mad, oh well. They even if even if you was fucked up, they still would be mad. Cause like I said, I'm talking to someone with a very very uh, magnetic aura, very powerful energy. So I feel like even if you wasn't leveling up, even if you wasn't focusing on your goals and focusing on self development, these motherfuckers would still be mad. So spirit is just saying. Keep going up. Don't dim your light for no motherfucker. If they mad, oh well. Oh well. Let them be mad. But you better not uh, give up on your goals and your dreams. Keep going up the ladder and keep making shit happen. Period. Oh, oh my God, y'all. Dude, look. I just, <laughs> I just said this. I just said if they mad, oh well. Spirit speaking, y'all. 
This is crazy. Spirit is speaking, y'all. Like I said, if they mad, oh well, keep going up the ladder. They mad, make them matter, period. Wow. So yeah, that just confirmed. A lot of you have people in y'all energy that's mad. Like I said, you. I feel like you guys are going through some type of transformation. You guys are going through some type of uh, transformation. You guys are leveling up. You guys are manifesting. You guys have changed your mindset, I feel like. And you got people in their feelings. But oh well, let them be in their feelings. That ain't your problem, how people feel about you. That ain't got shit to do with you. Let these people feel how they feel, okay? They don't do it like you. It is in the reverse. So yeah, you could, you could, a lot of you could have people in your energy that's uh that's trying to compete with you. Cause they see you leveling up and they think this is a fucking race, some type of competition. It's not. You want to know why this is not a race? This is not a competition? Because you're one of a kind. No one can do it like you. No one shines like you. So if they want to keep running in this imaginary rat race, Spirit is saying let them. But you know who you are. You know they can't fuck with you. They don't do it like you. And that's period. Period. <laughs> spirit is speaking. All right. You're close to the finish line. Yes. You're close to the finish line. Like I said, you guys have been setting goals. You guys have been focusing on your bag, focusing on your businesses, on your pinnacles. Y'all been focusing on leveling up. Spirit is saying, you are almost at the finish line. Don't stop now. Whatever it is, I don't care how you feel. If you feel you feel like you want to give up, you feel unmotivated, you feel, if you feel like things are at a standstill and it's not working, that's when shit behind the scenes is really fucking working, it's really going, you just can't see it yet, because it ain't manifesting the physical yet, but Spirit is saying, you're close, you're almost to the finish line, so whatever it is, rather, it, it, it's got something to do with, with your career, with your business, with, uh, you could be, I just heard a course. You could be creating some type of course. You could be a motivational speaker. Spirit is saying, you're so close. You're almost at the finish line. Don't let anything stop you or distract you. You are worthy. You are beautiful. You are loved. Spirit loves you. Your angels and ancestors love you. They fuck with you. So don't, don't, uh, don't trip on who don't, Okay. Don't trip on who don't. Because when you have love by, from the God, the divine angel, spirit guys, it's nothing like it's nothing like it. It's amazing. To be loved by a force you cannot see. It's fucking awesome. It's amazing. And I could attest to this. I'm heavily loved by my angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the universe, all that. They love me. They fuck with me. And they fuck with you too. They want you to always know and remember you are worthy. It could have been people in y'all energy. It could be some, uh, ex, friends, anybody tries to make you feel like you ain't the shit when you really are. Wow. You got to cut people like that out your energy. Daily self-love aff affirmations. And today is the most, is the beautiful day for that. I feel like some of you guys, uh, some of you guys could already be in this energy of, uh, of self-love affirmations. It is energy of loving on yourself. Self-acceptance. I feel like a lot of you guys are in this self-love energy right now. You could be doing daily affirmations. You guys could be into uh, many pits facials just pouring into yourself and if you're not this is confirmation spirit is saying start to pour more into yourself cater to yourself pamper yourself and doing that as well is going to open that heart chakra as well for you for you to manifest your de desire your heart chakra has to be open this is like getting dark my bad y'all but your heart chakra is open yeah spirit is saying don't stop now you come too far you come too far all the shit you've been through in your life you could have been uh de dealing with toxic family friendships toxic relationships 
uh, just toxic people, period. You could have been through a lot in your life, life struggles, challenges. You could have been, you could have been homeless at one point. You could have been hungry at one point. It could have been a point in your life you was at your lowest, but spirit has brought you this far. They haven't brought you this far just to say, okay, bye. Okay, great job. Hell no. Nah. They ain't bring you this far just to leave you. They brought you this far to elevate you. So they said, don't stop now. They We brought you too far. Don't stop. Release what doesn't serve you. Release that shit that's not serving you. And this is why you're one of a kind. Because I could be talking to a star seed here. This is why this is why you're they can't take you. This is why your energy and your aura is so magnetic. Any more messages, spirit, for the collective for uh motivational Monday? Believe the impossible. Wow. Like I said, you guys are uh are manifesting here. Spirit is saying, believe the impossible. Believe what you cannot see. You have to you you have to walk in faith. You're like I said, you guys could be manifesting something and it could be quiet for you right now. It things could feel like it's at a standstill. Your your faith is being tested. When you when you're in this energy of manifesting something and you're manifesting and you you don't see any progress, you don't see any signs of it working or anything, and it's at a standstill. Your faith is being tested. Spirit wants you to believe it is possible. You're being tested right now. Spirit wants to know where your faith at. If you really believe, you have to really believe that you, you know, you that you deserve this shit. You have to believe this. Any more messages, Spirit, for the collective? Wow! Activate your throat chakra. Some of you guys may need to work on your throat chakra. Maybe it's a message uh, that you need to put out to someone particular or just to the world, period. <clears throat> yeah, focus. Spirit is saying focus. Fo focus, focus on what it is you want to manifest. Focus on your goals. Set intentions and focus on your goals. Like I said, you, you are not average. You are not average. You are one of a kind. You're not average at all. You are one of a kind. Wow. And look, they said, we see you. <laughs> the divine. We see you. They see you. They see you out here building. They see you out here trying to self-develop and make a better way for you and your family. They see you out here trying to spiritually develop. They see you out here working. They see you out here grinding. All the things you're doing is not going unnoticed. They see you. They see you. They want you to continue to, to have faith. They want you to have faith and believe in the, the impossible. Like I said, someone is manifesting something here and you're and it seems like things are just stuck. It seems like you put out your intentions, but you haven't been getting any feedback. They see you. They just want to know where your faith level at. I'm telling you, you being tested right now. I'm telling you, focus, focus. Study astrology. Spirit has said some of you guys need to, uh, maybe you need to look up your birth chart. Spirit wants you guys to uh, study your birth chart. Get more in tune with the stars. That's how you can manifest too. When you know what house is in which and things of that nature. Cleanse your space. A lot of you guys have people, yeah. Cleanse your space and vibrate higher. A lot of you guys got people in your energy that could be... That's another reason why your manifestations could seem slow to come in. Because a lot of you could have people in your energy that's not supposed to be there. That you need to cleanse out and vibrate. And Spirit said, vibrate higher. And release. It's people in your energy. Yeah. Release what doesn't serve you. Because it's people and cleanse your space. Because it's people in your energy, I feel like that's not serving you for some of you. And for others of you, you have you've been cleansing out your energy, cleansing out your space. A lot of you guys understand 
that in order to manifest, you have to have a clear head, you have to be focused, and you have to have all negative toxic energies out your energy field, or else it's not, you know, your manifestations could get blocked. People are really blessed and blockers. You really have to get people out your energy that, that's not supposed to be there. You have to cleanse these people out. A lot of you guys, uh, could, uh, Spirit has said, sage your house, spiritual bath. Get you some crystals, crystal healing. I just say healing. So maybe it's something you guys are healing from that happened in your past. <sighs> Work on your heart chakra. This is the key. This your heart chakra is to, the key to manifest anything you want. It has you have to be in alignment. You have to be in alignment, okay? And you have to release what doesn't serve you. If you don't open your heart chakra, balance it, and if you don't release what doesn't serve you, it's it's not you're not gonna get what you desire. You you have to want it. You have to sacrifice shit. You have to sacrifice people that's not for you in order to get what you want. And that's just the plain truth about it, okay? I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys pour into yourself. I, I challenge you guys, do something nice for yourselves today. Even if it's just reading your favorite book, taking your dog for a walk, making you a cup of tea and sitting uh, and looking out the window, just observing, enjoying the scene, the environment. Do something nice for yourselves today, okay? You deserve it. You're worthy. You're loved. Your angels and ancestors are around you, and they just want you to do better. They want you to be better, but they really, and all in all, they want you to release what doesn't serve you because you're leveling up. You're going up to new levels, so you must vibrate higher, Okay, goddesses, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Everything you need to know about me is going to be in the, in the description. Love you guys. Have fun. Bye.